What's going on, Wolfpack? And today, back in the mystery, gotta find out what that ball mascot thingy knows. Will he be able to tell us the information we need, or will he be mad? Let's find out. So we gotta go that way. And there's a frenzied host over there. How do I get over there? How are these people like this close to the thing and like not attacking? Oh wait, I have a Gatling gun that I wanted to try. Oh shit! This is awesome! Oh, I gotta reload. Then I. Wasn't there a body somewhere? Ow. Don't need the baseball hat. Don't need the armor. Ow. Ow. Oh, it's a deed deed over here. So hold on, let me go back over here. That is a detected anomaly. It was right about here, I want to say. Oh, don't tell me it's up there. Hmm. Guess I could go back up there. I mean, it's right here. Wait. Yeah, this Hope is. Hope you've way. been enjoying your stay. I have. Thank you. Uh, do you mind tasting one of these? Examine the crate. The crate is packed with Spectrum bottles, all colors. It looks identical to any regular Spectrum shipment. Wonder what happens if I sample it. You can move on. Shipping counterfeiting goods is definitely something Sublight would do. Perhaps slugs aren't different from the other sister groups as they claim. Going through the effort of encroaching upon Rizzo's territory seems particularly targeted. You wonder what slug's angle is. Sample a bottle. The flavor is sub... of an odd sock and damp. Candid. It's more than a little nauseating and definitely not a legit product. I don't even need to, Cap. I can smell it already. That ain't Rizzo's. Rizzo's has a sort of sickly sweetness to it. It's a bottle of liquid lollipops. This just smells like piss. I'm actually surprised you can't tell. I can't smell. Uh, thanks for pointing that out. Really hurt my feelings there. Um, but you know, to use their own, I guess. Because you know, it's a video game, and I can't can't smell in video games. Not yet. Wait till we get the technology. Smell vision. Uh, video game smell of vision. Uh, totally 100% a thing, and uh, want it to happen. Anything else around here? No? Okay, fantastic. I am leaving. What's in this door? It's over here. Nothing important. Got it. What's in this door? Interesting. Interesting. 
Interesting. I'm gonna have to confiscate that. It's part of my deduction. Interesting. Investigation. Yes, yes. All interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Just why? This a detective. Yes, this is. This is evidence. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, view lockdown alerts. Uh, water. Starwell. Connell. My God. Ooh, a safe. Damn. My skills aren't good enough yet. Oh, well, lock picking is the next thing I'll level up. I should probably eat something. Hi. Thank you. I worked really hard at learning how to do that. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, okay, let's. Oh yeah, you're you know, best friends. Woo! Still don't know how people aren't getting attacked, but yeah, whatever. Ah! Uh, I guess I can't go this way. Ah, uh, poopy. In this way for no. Can I walk around though? Can I go underneath the building? Make it like a shortcut? No, I can't. How amazing. Excuse me. Maybe I should give one of them this Gatling gun. But I am having fun with it. Decisions, decisions. Spencer. Wait. Oh, okay. It's one I'm ascending still. It's ascended still. But I can activate that. Did your job, just saying. Did your job, just saying. A vending machine. Did your job, just saying. Uh, sneak plus five. Um, I should just. Nah, I don't want to sell the eye patch. It's kind of cool. Uh. Oh, oh. Bolter. Oh, yeah, that's a way better bolter. Uh, I did find a flamethrower. I. 776. Ah, that's the same thing. Revolver. Pistol. Champion toss ball stick. Hope it ain't evidence. As if it is. It's been sold. What do you got for sale, little bending machine? Junk, junk, junk. Ooh, alt items. I'll take that. Uh, 31. I know I, I, know I haven't upgraded my stuff, and I probably should, but... Why is it so far? Just trying to get this murder mystery thing solved. Ah! Temporal time slip. There we go. Oh, look here. I could use a new pair of glasses. Can't imagine where you misplaced your old pair. Aren't you just stealing stuff from people? Are you just stealing hey, you. stuff? Come take a look. Hey, you look like you need some stuff. Fancy watch? Spare cufflink? Single earring? You want it, I've got it. You don't have one of those weird parasite things.
Ooh, but she does have guns. But this one needs to be fixed. Oh, she has a science. Oh, wait, no. That's selling. I'm just, I was like, man, where'd she get all this stuff? Dumb. Reinforced armor rating. Cushioned souls. Oh, not bad. Hey, wait a minute. This is all my stuff. <laughs> Duh. I got five silver tongue kits. I got a lot of kits. I can probably get rid of some of those. This is all junk. Uh, pff, hold to sell junk. And... Wait. Oh, sweet. She could repair. Repair all. What? She can't repair this? Insulting. Sweet, thanks. Uh, I guess I'll be on my way. Oh, what the hell? Frick yourself, slug. That was weird. And the slug stole everything. I saw it. You guys saw it, right? This pocket watch has someone's initials inscribed on it. It sure does, buddy. So some workers are stealing stuff to sell on the side to make some caps or bits. And <laughs> others are being parasitically controlled and slowly going insane. And they're passing on the savings on to you. That's fun. Uh, you're a okay. You're you're not you're not evil. Not evil yet. Where's the security? You're sure he's not in the museum. I'm sure he's not in the museum. Hello. Like, see, I knew it. I knew it. Discrepancy detected. Rizzo's company policy clearly states that all proprietary mascots must exhibit signs of physical life. <laughs> Puncture wound near his collarbone. I have trouble finding an exit wound. Excellent observation, Inspector. Have you deduced a possible cause of death? Handgun. Fu firearms. Not an ex controversial weapon either. Unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry. Closest approximations are 1. Incident involving a game of darts. 2. The Needler. Yes, Inspector. The, the Needler? Needler. The spoke handgun carried and wielded by Halcyon Helen. Famously deployed by Halcyon Helen in Terror on Monarch. This weapon was responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. Amplifier, before we go, do you think he'd miss his outfit? This unit is incapable of providing ethical advice. This unit is also incapable of answering rhetorical questions. <sighs> I'll take his things. It's potential evidence. Yeah. You glance over your shoulder to see if anyone's watching. You reach down and remove his mascot gear. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. What's this, workbench? Modify. Ooh. Uh, tinker. Oh, sweet. Oh, uh, yeah, let's tinker with this. Uh, sure. Can I modify anything? Do I have anything to modify? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, definitely repair this. Nice 
Look, robot, you work for me. If I say it's cool, you agree. Got it? I'm... <laughs> Wait, me. This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. Suspicious residue detected. Ooh. High concentration of ethanol. Someone's brewing moonshine with antiseptic. Deduction inspector. Imbibing of unauthorized beverages is strictly prohibited under Rizzo's company law. Ingredients include antiseptic alcohol, sucrose, and unidentifiable miscellaneous organic material. Closest match. Counterfeit spirits available at the Piraeus spaceport. Hmm. Wish I had a telescope like this back in the Vale. Of course, the company probably would have scrapped it for parts. I mean, I'm not going to be mad if you want to take a telescope. Who's going to stop you? Me? Inspector Chris? I don't think so. Damn it. My hacking isn't at 65. Let's be yes. Wish I had a telescope like this back in the veil. Oh, take it. I'm not going to stop you. So what? I got to go back to... Ah, damn it. Oh, but they leveled up. Ah, uh, perfect. You get the, um... Location discovery expection experience. Yay. And you get a chance to extract modifiers from the field. Ooh, 10 engineering. Take it back. Oh, wait, now I was going to try to fast travel. It wants me to go here. And I could fast travel. Ah, damn it. Come on. I don't... There we go. Fast travel! No, I didn't want to get on older. Damn it. with the people I have. God dang it, I didn't mean to go here. <sighs> I gotta go over there now. Da, 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 Don't run. We gotta get over there fast. Gotta go fast. Ah, I'm too fast. Oh. Hitting my face on everything. Ha. Oh. Didn't even jump over the hand rope. Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access and welcome to the Piraeus spaceport. Thank you. Walking right into a murder pit. Time to go in to the spaceport. All right, time to find out. Hey, you! Ah. We've been looking for you, and by we, I mean Slug. Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? 
See, Slug Light Underground don't like that much. <laughs> if you had anything to do with Sublight, you'd have started shooting about 12 words ago. Should have kept your nose True. where it belonged, Inspector. Slug sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn bread worm! Draw! Lie. Your safety's still on. <laughs> I'm an inspector, fella. Sticking my nose where it doesn't belong is my job. I love it when people threaten me. Now I'm acting in self-defense. Well, you ain't gonna stick that nose anywhere ever again. Ah, oh, I don't have charm. Hold on, you're saying Slug asked you ask? Uh, little, little, little. Take it again. <laughs> Hold on, you're saying Slug asked me to investigate, and now it's wants me dead. Regret. Don't do anything you're gonna regret. regret. I regret nothing. You're going down. Watch out. Take it, come on. Ladies, solid. Thank you. We good? Awesome. How'd that work out for you? You're dead, aren't you? You too? Hit note. Got a job for you with a ready gun hand and an empty pocket. There's an inspector looking into the murder of Helcyon Helen. My client wants you to cross them off. Don't worry about subtlety. In fact, don't be subtle. Just make sure that wants you. Once you agree to the job, you visit the rare most by a buck. Put on the uniforms you'll find folded beneath the mattress. After that, feel free to cause a ruckus. Be sure to let them know Slug's territory is off limits. The rewards? 40,000 bits plus all the enhancing chemicals you could ever want. The Musketeer. Nah, I don't need that. I'll take that though. Ah, you know what, I'll take that too. Stealing all their stuff. Stealing all their stuff. Well, they're dead. I'm not stealing. Sweet. Free ammo. You guys get this free ammo? Can't believe they just leave it around. Uh, where's the other... That's, oh, that's a pile of ashes. Where's the other body? Where's the dude with the beard stuff on his face? Anybody else gonna stop me? Hmm? I don't think so. Sorry, should I not have? I'm an inspector. I'm a damn good one. Yeah, that makes sense. You must be a good one to sniff me out. Yeah, right. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. Uh, you're about as disguised as a sprat in a wig. Good law. Good law, man. You think these people don't recognize you? It's a very nice hat. Well, they ain't talking to me, at least. No, oh, what's it matter? Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. 
that's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm <laughs> stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. Uh, maybe I can help. I was hired to solve Helen's murder. Oh, so you're the inspector. Oh my you god. You have more luck figuring things out than me. You probably want to ask me some questions, huh? I'm sure you're asking everybody questions so you can find Helen's killer. So, uh, how do I help? Uh, what were you doing the night Helen died? I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. What? You know, soaked, muddled, preserved. You mean drunk? Looter, half shot, void lush, on the Byzantine swizzle, starry. One bit down, three bits up, spread across the spectrum, top heavy. Should I go on? I have no idea what's going on. The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. <laughs> He, get it. Helen he was drunk. Splitsville. They wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. Probably a good call. We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow. There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. What'd you steal a cow for? I don't know. We were drunk, and we made bad choices. She was all alone. Uh, I know how that feels now. It's so hard to be all by your lonesome. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Could anyone from the pilot house back that up? Mm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. And did you find it? Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. It's, it was real Whoa, dark the out audio there. cut down. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. Sigh wearily. Not a smart move to find corporate. Uh, are you sure this guard couldn't ID you? Long story short, I got out of there. Okay. Ran like the Rangers were down by three, and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. Did anyone else see that night? Think hard. Anywhere else? Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. I would have to be dead to not realize that's a lie. Can we pretend I didn't mention that? I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. Not having a witness puts you in bigger trouble. What do you think, Private? Up for a little good inspector, bad inspector? <laughs> good one, Captain. Oh, you're serious. Y you want me to be the bad inspector? Are you sure? But I'm already good inspector. You're making me look bad, Pivot. Fine, I'll be bad inspector. Tell us anywhere else, Brett. <laughs> wait, wait. Does this mean I'm the good inspector? Or are you still the good inspector? I mean, I always thought you were doing a pretty good job. Wait, wait, okay. Okay, I think I got it. Here goes. <clears throat> You better spill the goods, Mr. Bertie Holcomb. S sir, because I can't control my captain. 
when he's being a terrible inspector? I'm confused. <laughs> Which is how I always feel watching detective serials, so I think you're doing this right. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. Button just asked the companion to be the bad inspector. <laughs> That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I think so, so too. Now you have the whole story. After I talked to Oric, went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and a hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, any advice for next time? Oh, let's see the data pad. Oh, yeah, you'll probably want to yeah of course of course Helen sure did have the prettiest handwriting I'm sure she did yeah yeah me too sorry here you go inspector hopefully they make more sense to you I couldn't make heads or tails of them either she was writing in code or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said, being bright was Helen's thing. Thanks. I'll take a look at them. Okay. And listen, uh, I want to help you find our killer inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it'd be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. Sorry, Brett. It's better you're not involved. I can't let a suspect be a part of the investigation. I'm really more of the lone candid type. Start threatening witnesses, and I'll throw you in jail myself. I get it. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? Uh, nope. You're free to go. Alright, let's do this. Where do I go now? Buy a bunk, huh? I think I'll fix my cabin. Thanks. Hey, pal. Over here. Oh, hey, man. What's up? Hey, man. <laughs> Just pull out my gun. Blind friend. Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time. Well, no, Maybe I got these scars. A little better than beer or Adreno. Something with a little more kick. Better than beer? Bold claim. I know, but I wouldn't lie to you, friend. The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You mm. know, alternative stuff. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. I get it. I do. <laughs> Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? It says it right on the anti-Cleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you know a little secret, pal. I give Those you a nice high from the screen stuff. I call. Not all of them are as good for you as the green. wants you to believe. That sounds medically inaccurate. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails what you, ails you, I got what, I you, got what need. you need. Uh, I'd like to ask you some questions about Brett. Wait. You ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. <laughs> oh my god, so sketchy. I don't think I have jurisdiction here. What makes you think I'm a sheriff? I'm just look. I'm just a man looking for answers. I'll be honest. I don't really know where that puts us. I'm not here to bring you to any trouble. Just want to talk. Me either. And I'm not going to arrest someone I don't even know if I'm even allowed. Answer the damn question already. All right, all right, fine. Yeah, I know Birdie. So what? Birdie. Um, was Birdie with you the night Halcyon and Helen was killed? Yeah. Damn shame about that. Birdie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place, wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him. He said, "Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before." We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. 
Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Oh, okay. You may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted manta fluorescent here, a little vitamin B negative there. Nah. Substance what he's got is a stress problem. Mm. He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. He can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. Then you throw in playing post ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. Sounds good. All right. Well, thank you, sir. And, uh, yeah, I think that's, I'm going to call it here. And, uh, see what happens next time. So, with that being said, I'm going to come over here. Oh, yeah, those are dead bodies. I'm going to, oh, wait. Take those. I'm gonna say, uh, good job being a bad cop. Oh, there's the guy. I was like, I looted his butt already. Never mind. <laughs> As always, be safe out there. I'll see you around. Got that sticky icky for you if you need it. <laughs>